Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode in our Pokemon Crystal Clear walkthrough. Um, last episode we left off, um, we just journeyed through to Pewter City uh, from Viridian and Pallet Town. Uh, we started off with an Alekid, uh, we caught a couple of couple of Pokemon along the way, we got a Tangela, a Hootoot and a Weedle. Um, so without further ado, let's let's carry on. Um, I think what we're going to do is have a little look around Pewter City and uh, see what we can find. Let's uh, see what's going on in the Pokemon Mart. Uh, oh, okay, that's different. So we've got some uh, stat enhancing moves in there. Not moves, sorry, stat en enhancing items. Uh, as well as your usual Pokeball, Repel, Potion Fair. Okay, that's, uh, that's interesting. We haven't got enough to buy anything too interesting, so let's see what's, uh, what this guy says. Hi, check out my Gyarados. I raised it from a Magikarp. I can't believe how strong it has become. There once was a weird old man who sold Magikarp. He was saying the Magikarp from the Lake of Rage were excellent. I'm sure he made a lot of money. I, uh, I used to be uh, one of those people who would buy the, uh, buy the Magikarp from the guy in the Poker Center get it ground up during Mount Moon and uh, come out the other end with the Gyarados. The leader uses rock type Pokemon. Okay, that's uh, nothing we didn't already know. Now there's usually, I think there's a hidden item around here somewhere in this little garden area. Can we find anything? No, maybe they re removed it in this ROM hack. I could have swore there was something no, it doesn't, doesn't look like it. Uh, so we've got the Museum of Science, apparently. I wonder if there's anything different going on in here. $50 for a museum ticket. Oh, go on. It is for the sciences, of course. So we are proud of two fossils of very rare prehistoric Pokemon. Okay. This dome fossil was found through a mining exposition at Mount Mortar of Johto. So there's a picture of a Pokemon on display. There we go, and it's Kabutops. Alright, okay, I wonder if that'll... Yep, Pokedex was updated. Interesting, we'll see if we can uh, if we can find... Uh, will, will they be out in the wild? I wonder. Because usually you'd have to get the Dome or the Helix Fossil and um, have those revived. So there's a picture of um, Ammonite there. Pokedex was updated. Let's have a look. Pokedex. And these guys are pretty late in the Pokedex. They're like 130 something, I think. Uh, there we go. So there's Ammonite. Area. Okay, and apparently you can catch one of those at. Oh, I forget which. I forget which area that is. It's at the cave between um, Ecritique and the other place. I forget. The one below the Lake of Rage. Uh, okay, you can also find them on Cinnabar Island. Okay. It's uh, good to note. What about Caputo? Where can we find the, these guys? Again, same cave. Again, Cinnabar Island. Okay, okay. We'll, uh, we'll file that away. We'll remember that later on in our playthrough. We have a space exhibit now. Meteorites that fell on Mount Moon. Moonstone? What's so special about it? You can buy these at the department store. Who cares? That's a pretty hot looking Pikachu. Oh, it's shiny. Okay, fair enough. She always brings her Pikachu with her everywhere she goes. Okay, so that's all the museum has to offer. Useful to, uh, are you leaving? Yes, yes we are. Useful to uh, at least get those um, Pokedex pictures of Kabuto and Ammonite. Got a couple of uh, berry trees here. Let's, uh, let's grab those. So that's a mint berry. And an ice berry. Nice, okay. Okay. 
And there's no cut tree here, so there'd usually be a tree that uses uh, that you can't get rid of until you got cut, just to get in the back office of the museum. Right, okay, so uh, old amber. Uh, right. So, right, so we can go. We can go this way to Mount Moon. I'm trying to think how I want to order this. Um, I'd quite like to do some of the what would normally be some of the more higher level gym leaders first. Sort of do them backwards, if that makes sense. Um, so usually Brock and Misty would be. You do them fairly early on. Maybe um, if we go to Vermilion City, take out the uh, the electric gym there, maybe. That was fast. Youngster Warren was defeated. Well, if you knew you'd lose, why did you battle me? The logic of some of these people in these games, honestly, beggars belief. We got any more stupid people out here at midnight? Yep, here's another kid. I can run like the wind. That's going to come in handy when I'm kicking your ass. So it's youngster Jimmy. He sent out a ratata. Well, Jimmy, your time is up. Okay, so he's about to use an Ekans. Okay, that's a little bit different. Uh, let's uh, let, let's level Hootoot up a little bit. Let's uh, get him some XP. We'll use tackle. Oh no, he wrapped me. Okay, that's uh, that's not a bad uh, bad amount of damage. Right, let's try tackle again. I think all Ekans is going to have at this point is just wrap, so he's just going to just keep spamming that particular move. Right, it might be a close one. Let's see, uh, ah, he missed. Nice. That should give me the edge. Couple more tackles, and he should should be going down. Right, so I'm released from the wrap. Do I want to? No, we'll we'll risk it. We'll risk it for a biscuit. We'll take it. Take our chances. We'll tackle. Oh, nicely done. That's how we do it. Go to level three. Nice. Ooh, okay, nearly a nearly a two leveler. So youngster Jimmy, defeated, blown away, get out of here. That's how we roll down in Pallet Town, boy. Is there anything down here? You have these odd odd sections of the map where it's just blank, but usually there's a hidden item or something. No, it doesn't seem to be anything too obvious. Let's go and heal up again. Back to the Pokemon Center. Yep, let's heal up. Now the thought occurs that uh, as well as going east through Mount Moon, we can also go south and take Diglett Cave. So this would normally be blocked off to us. Diglett's Cave, yep. So yeah, this would... Uh, oh, there's an item. Carboss. Does that enhance speed? I think it does. Might come in useful. Raises the speed, yeah, okay. Cool, we'll hang on to that for a bit. I'm sure we'll uh, we'll find a use for that later on. So, uh, yeah, so uh, we won't 
might want to go through uh, Diglett's cave. Hi, well, I'm glad to see you. You're the first visitor I've had in a long time. I'm super happy. Let me give you a little present. Nice, oh, this guy's just handing out free money, apparently. I can't give you any nuggets of wisdom, so that'll have to do. Hey, no problem, strange man whose home I just broke into. I will happily accept your gold nugget. Is uh, one of Oak's aides. What does he say? Hello there, I work as Professor Oak's aide. Spend my time in the field, however, Professor Oak never sends us out without equipping us with handy tools to pass on to any trainers that find us. If you had a few more badges, I could give you a very useful HM. Alright, he's going to be there for a while, so... If we ever get bored and fancy Flash, which I assume is what he's got, uh, we might come back to him. It's a Max Potion, that'll uh, come in handy. An Elixir, also very handy. And what we've got here? Another tree. It's a Pusnicure Berry. Excellent. That'll come in handy if ever I need to cure any Pusna. Dire hit. Nice. I think that raises accuracy for one uh, one battle. I'll be honest. I never tend to use any of those um, one-use battle-enhancing items like X speed, next attack, and things like that. Um, okay. Right. Let's see if there's any differences uh, in Diglett Cave. Now, I hope these guys aren't uh, too high level. I'm sure a has got it covered, just in case. Diggly appeared, level 4. It might be useful to have a Diglett on, uh, on hand, actually. These guys uh, are a critical hit. Okay. I'll maybe try the next one. Uh, yeah, it might be useful to, to grab a Diglett while we're in here, because uh, that'd be very useful against uh, the Electric Gym in Vermilion City. Level 16, ooh, okay. Bit out of my comfort zone. Uh, let's try a rolling kick. I believe... yeah, fighting versus ground, is that super effective? Apparently not. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I'm going to last against this guy. He can't escape, so I can't get out of here anyway. No, oh, he's going to destroy me, isn't he? Ugh, this ain't, this ain't going my way. Still can't escape. And we got out of there. See, I was good when it was at, with Diglett's for level 4. Oh, let's use the repel just to just to get through here. Hello, strange caveman. A bunch of Diglett's popped out of the ground and shocked you. You're in Diglett Cave. What do you expect? Okay, so uh, there's a Snorlax just there. Here, kid, take this and leave me alone. HP up. Scram, that's fine, but what's behind you? Is there anything behind you? Can we get behind there? Apparently not. Okay. Uh, let's let's heal up again. This is this is becoming a recurring theme after every battle. It's a good thing these places are free. I'll tell you what, they can make a fortune if they wanted to charge. Your Pokemon are fully healed. Who's this guy? There used to be a sleeping Pokemon lying in front of Diglett's cave, but then a trainer woke it up. The fast ship is a great place to meet and battle trainers. Have you been to Johto? I hear that they have Pokemon not found here. Maybe I should use the fast ship to get there. 
Let's go in this house. Is this the guy with the fishing rods? Yeah, he is. The elder of the fishing brothers. Have you met the fishing guru with the lake of rage? If you don't mind, could you show him any magic harp you catch? Who knows, you may catch the magic harp of his dreams. Okay, so no free fishing rod. Vermilion City is Kanto's seaside gateway. Luxury liners from around the world dock here. Do you know about the Magnet Train? It's a railway that goes to Goldrod and Johto. I want to go to Saffron to see the Magnet Train. I'll tell you, all these people in here are boring. Pokemon Fan Club. All oh, Pokemon fans welcome. I love the way Clefairy waggles its finger when it's trying to use Metronome. It's so adorable. Sure. I'm the chairman of the Pokemon Fan Club. I've raised over 150 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. Did you visit just to hear about my Pokemon? Uh, yeah, sure. Good, then listen up. My favourite, Rapidash. Cute, lovely, smart, unbearably, plus amazing. Too much, well, beautiful, kindly, love it. It's, uh, it's bordering on slightly creepy uh, relationship with this Rapidash. Oh, I've kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. There we go. Let's get to the free stuff. Rare candy. Nice. I won't say no to free sweets. What what child wouldn't? Look at my darling bay leaf. Looks a bit uh, looks a bit anemic from that sprite. Our chairman is very vocal when it comes to Pokemon. Yeah, I've heard. Uh, what can we buy from this uh, this Pokemon? Let's sell our nugget for a start. Let's uh, sell one of them. And uh, what can we buy? Anything interesting? Pokeballs, potions, antidotes. Uh, okay, nothing too in too interesting or unusual. Okay. Right. Do we want to? Let's have another try and see if we can find any uh, low-level diglets. Well, diglet appeared. Level 16 again. That's. Quite what we're after. I don't know that I can defeat one of these guys at that, that level. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's going to happen. Let's get away safely. Let's try once more. Level eight. That's more like it. I can work with that. Try a kick, see what that does. Okay. Let's try a quick attack. Okay, he's in the red. So pack. Pokeball. Go! Gotcha, nice. Alrighty then. It digs underground and chews on tree roots, sticking its head out only when the sun isn't bright. That sounds suspiciously like me when I'm not at work. Give a nickname to Diglett. Nope, we'll leave him as is. Oh, okay, right, let's uh... Oh, okay. So you can find Pokemon in here as well. Another level 8 Diglett. Get some XP while we're in here. Couple of kicks to the head, and he's gone. That was a nice little excursion. 
Right, let's get healed up and let's make some progress. I'm gonna go and uh, take our new Diglett out and see what he can do against the uh, the electric gym leader, Lieutenant Surge. All right, let's let's get out of here. So, what does Diglett know? Stats. Uh, 20 health. Okay, scratch and growl. That's uh, okay. Might not be too useful then. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we need to level Diggly up a little bit. Let's just see. Uh, what kind of thing we're up against in here? Oop. Lieutenant Surge recognized my potential with electric Pokemon. Think you can beat me? Yeah, sure. Let's see his boss. Guitarist Vincent wants the battle. A Mareep. Okay. Scratch his eyes out. You know what? Two of us can play at the Growl game. That's the way you want to do it. One more should do it. Ooh, just a tiny bit hanging on. But not, not good enough. Boom, there we go. That's Mareep down. Guitar guitarist Vincent was defeated. I'm gonna take you down. Prepare to be shocked. Juggler Horton sent out Voltorb because all the cool kids had Voltorb back at school. Let's uh, let's throw out a lucky. missing for us all of a sudden. Alright, try again. No. Attack missed. Alright. Third time's a charm. No. It missed again. What are the odds of that? There. Finally. And it was a critical hit. Where was that in the first instance? Oh yeah. Level 10. And Juggler what his face was defeated. Nice, give me your money. Well, we've reached that point again. Let's go and heal up. Yep, yep, whatever, get over that, just uh Go straight for the uh, straight for the heel. Thinking back to some of the menu options that we looked at last time, I think there was a quick option for the nurse. Uh, nurse normal or quick? It's, uh, okay, nice, no spiel, just get straight to it. Even better. 
That's cool, that's a, that's a cool setting, we'll keep that. That'll save us so much time. I wonder what I'll do with all that time that I've saved. Right, so we've done that guy over there, we've done this guy over there. Now it's time for this dude. You're here to defeat Lieutenant Surge? Not if I can help it. Gentleman Gregory wants to battle. Magnemite. Which, in Generation 2 onwards, is uh, part steel and electric. So I don't think Scratch is going to do very much. No, it's not very effective. I'll tell you what is effective though. Fighting moves. Which Alakid has. Let's see. Can you actually hit him this time? Yep. There we go. That's super effective. And he flinched, just for good measure. Get out of here. A Diglett's level 9. Loon Magnitude. That's that's going to be useful. Gregory was defeated. Nice. 500 bucks. That's, that's useful. Okay, and here's the big man himself. Let's, uh, let's do a precautionary save. So, I think what I'm going to do is... After this gym, which one do we want to go for? Maybe maybe Sabrina, or uh, maybe go for um, Koga, down in Future City. Just trying to think ahead what, uh, who might be useful to level up. Let's, uh, let's, get, some, let's get some XP into to Hutu, so I'll lead with him. And then we'll switch off to Diglett. Let him hand off. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. Alright. Sent a Pichu. Alright, let's go over to Diglett. Let's, uh, let's magnitude this this guy. Thundershock. It doesn't affect. <laughs> magnitude seven. That should uh, that should do a good deal of damage. Nice. Super effective. And he's down. All right. What's he going with next? About to use a Lekid. Hmm. We'll go back to Hootie's. It's not over. It's just getting started. Okay, switch back. Thunderbolt. Doesn't affect him. Ah. Magnitude 7. Ooh, okay, so he's, uh, this guy's got a bit more staying power. Hyper Potion? I'll give you a scratch. We'll use Magnitude again, and hopefully, we should do it. Oh, Christ. Magnitude 9, even better. Let's see you get out of this one. Hootoot's now level 6. Nice. Foresight. Bit useless, but I'll take it. And Lieutenant Surge was done. Okay, kid, you get the Thunder Badge. Nice. You wear it proudly here. You can take this too. TM07. Is that Thunder? Zap cannon, nice. It's not what anyone would consider accurate, but it packs a wallop. Now you can zap your enemies too. 
Nice, that might be useful for a Lekid. Give him a nice strong electric move to finish with. Uh, oh, you won't tell you its stats in this version. Okay, so... Ooh, Pokemon League. Hello, this is the official Pokemon League office. Congratulations! You completed your very first gym challenge. You're now on your way to the Pokemon League. We've updated your account to reflect your new badge and we'll call to update you every time you complete a gym challenge. You'll find that having more badges will expand your selection any local Pokemon. You currently have one badge. Kanto trainers can visit one of Professor Oak's aides over on Route 10 for a flashy gift. Johto trainers may want to visit the famed Sprout Tower in Violet City. The Magnet train is free. Fast travel from Saffron to Goldenrod in a flash. Nice. So I'm going to get a phone call every time I defeat a gym. That's not going to get boring at all at any point. Okay, well, uh, we've made some good progress today. We've got our first badge, and we've um, we've caught a Diglett, and we've um, earned some levels for a few Pokemon. So, I think what we'll do is we'll leave it there, and we'll pick this up again um, another time, and, yeah, we'll see where our adventure takes us. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.